complicit in the war crimes that Israel is currently perpetrating. And it shouldn't, it shouldn't be controversial to condemn a war crime regardless of who it is that is carrying it out. It shouldn't be controversial to condemn the bombing, the bombardment of civilian infrastructure, civilian buildings, of hospitals, schools and of, ob and of ambulances regardless of who it is that is doing it. It shouldn't be controversial to say that it is immoral and illegal under international law to deny people their basic rights. And it certainly shouldn't be controversial to say that human beings are entitled to water. That should not be controversial. That should be a simple message that is easy to deliver. Akarja, today we can be proud. We can be proud of the thousands of people who have reinforced the message of Irish solidarity. We can be proud of many things that Ireland has done. We can be proud, for example, that the Irish Parliament became the first in the Western world to call for that most simple of demands, a ceasefire. But we should also be ashamed. We should be ashamed that we're among the first to do so. We should be ashamed that international leaders across the world have refused have refused to call for an end to the bombardment, an end to the siege, an end to the occupation, an end to the apartheid, an end to the butchering of innocent Palestinian civilians. And we can also be hopeful because the message that we have seen in cities like Dublin and in cities and towns and villages right across this country and in cities and towns and villages right across the world, the message is clear, Israel must Stop! Israel must stop! We must stop! We must stop the genocide. We must stop the siege. We must stop the apartheid.